Welcome to another exciting episode of Untamed World. I'm your host, Marlon Hoyt. And over here, we have my courageous assistant, Stimpy. Today, we focus on the vast diversity of organisms that have evolved on our humble planet. To observe some of this vast variety, we will travel to the fabled Galapagos Islands, a virtual textbook of the process of evolution. Today, we retrace the footsteps of the famous naturalist, Charles Darwin, who thousands of years ago came upon these remote islands formed by piles of volcanic material thrown up in a fiery cataclysm. These islands have produced a plethora of exotic mandibles, each a slight variation on a similar theme. For instance, on one island, we find the elusive horny-billed chihuahua. This handsome creature has evolved a rather large beak, which it uses to find delectable nuts hiding in the grass. He uses this powerful appendage to burst open the hard shell in order to get at the soft, pulpy nut meats inside. On a neighboring island, we find the needle-billed chihuahua. This fellow has adapted his beak for obtaining food in hollow logs and other hard-to-get-at places. On the same island, we find the Leviathan of Tortoises, the giant, soft-shelled Stimpy. We are about to witness a miracle of nature. Every 30 years, this marvelous creature painstakingly drags its ponderous bulk to a secluded spot on the beach where she digs a hole in the sand and begins her beautiful ritual. Job done, the mother Stimpy buries her young. Then, after concealing her payload of life, she mysteriously drags herself back to the sea. Where she goes, nobody knows. But then, in just a few months, something beautiful happens. Life begins anew. It's really amazing how these cute little fellows instinctively crawled their way to the open sea. Yet few escaped the keen eyesight of the hungry seagull. Even now, nature's scavenger has spotted an unfortunate newborn. Oh, Mr. Hoek, here comes old man seagull. Uh, we've got to help the poor little turtle. No, my friend, we must not interfere. For it is nature's way. Yes, it may seem cruel, but we must admire the skill with which this powerful scavenger stocks his meal. See how he spreads his magnificent plumes. How he exposes his powerful, gleaming incisors, paralyzing his victim with fright. Yes, this looks like it. Uh, say, Mac, um, could you, like, spare some change for, like, a bite to eat? What? Scram! Like, bless you, sir. Deadbeat. Phew. 